The first sightseeing point of our tour was Minksha Garden, located in Darshing County, Guangxi, South China, near the Sino-Vietnamese border. There we visited the Juon Folk House Museum and saw the Chinese Juon minority people showing us their traditional way of life. I went to try the big heavy donkey grinding mill to chase away a very noisy tourist in our group. Minksha River passes through the garden and the cast landforms on its riversides. We took a bamboo raft to enjoy the scenery and take pictures. During the cruise we saw traditional fishermen showing us their techniques. After that, we passed Juon minority people standing on the riverbank wearing their traditional clothes. The 45 minute long cruise passed quickly and then at the end, from the dock, we enjoyed very nice photographic scenery. After a quick lunch, we were taken to the Detian Waterfalls, located in Detian village, on the border between China and Vietnam. We took the Gui Trun River ferry upstream to the bottom of the falls, the middle of the river forms the land border and we could see Vietnamese people on the other side selling their goods. As we got closer we were able to feel the spray from the waterfalls and the bamboo raft dropped us on the right hand side. Detian Waterfall is a tertiary waterfall. It's hard to see the top level of the waterfalls, but the top one is over 200 meters wide with a drop of more than 70 meters. The geology of the area is thick layered dolomite. The average annual flow of the waterfall is 50 cubic meters per second its water rushes down the three-tiered cliff with tremendous force, truly inspiring with its thunder audible before it even comes into view. After taking some photos, we followed a path up to the bottom of the uppermost tier. The number 53 
Boundary Monument is an important photo point for Nu as it was erected in 1888 and the photo shows me holding a Vietnamese beer next to the number 853 Boundary Monument erected in 2001. No need for a visa, we crossed the border to get to the Vietnam side with clear views of the country and there was a tented market with vendors selling souvenirs as well as local produce. Our accommodation was in a small country village where we went for a stroll through a farm with its cornfield and papaya trees before retiring from the enervating, exhausting, 38 degree, 99% humidity to the respite of our air-conditioned hotel room.